All right, so today we are going to be looking at decimals. Now, I'm sure you've worked with decimals before, um, but we're going to be more uh, critical in doing some more, some more work on that. So, first of all, what I want you to do is I want you to make a note of the different types of... The first one we've got is terminating. So, it's terminating. Now... If a terminating decimal. A terminating terminate something means to end something. So it's a number that if you got 3.6, it stops there. Okay? That's where it gets to. If you've got 1.25, even if you've got 7.2561, you can see it stops. It doesn't go on and on and on. That is a terminating decimal. So um, so write up terminating and then put in an example. Okay? And um, just pause me so that you get that down and then you can carry on. Right, the next decimal that we're going to be looking at is non-terminating. Now, you've seen terminating. Now, you've seen these on your calculator. Um, if you And it will go 5.32196789. Eight, four, 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 and it just keeps going. Okay, so those are not terminating. They keep, or they keep on going. And if we had a calculator that was very wide, so the numbers would go on. Now, underneath that, the non-terminating, you need to so make that a heading, non-terminating, and give that example. Pause me until you're ready to go on. The next one we've got here is a irrational number. So now this falls underneath the non the non-terminating. So if it's irrational, now if someone's irrational, they don't make sense. Okay, so if your number had to be uh, zero point three six nine two one four, there's no pattern in that. It carries on and on and on. Um, you can see that that is an irrational number. Okay, then you get which I'm sure you've heard of recurring decimals. Okay, now recurring decimal has a pattern. So it would be something, and there's lots of different ways, it would be something that looks like this. So let's just write recurring. It would be a number that if you went 1.3 and your calculator would go 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. So the recurring decimal, the thing that's recurring in this one thing is 3. Not 33, it's just 3. Okay, and you have to indicate what is recurring. So you say what is recurring, you would go 1.3 is being recurred, and you put a dot on the top of it. That shows me that that 3 is being recurred. A lot of people put 33 or 333, don't. Use the least amount of numbers that you have to do. Okay, you'll also get an amount that would look like this it would be 2.48. Nine, 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 nine. What is being recurred here? The nine is being recurred. So you would go 2.489, only once, with a dot on the top. Excuse my dogs. So that would show that the nine is being recurred. Okay. What I want you to do now, I want you to get your calculator out while you're listening to me. And I want you to do the first thing. I'll just put this back up here. I want you to do 12 divided by 8. Put that into your calculator. Uh, no, I'm sorry, not 8. I want you to do it by 7. Let's take that away. I want you to divide it by 7. So let's go 12 divided by 7. So your answer there is 1.7142857. Now what would you call that? You would call that irrational. It's got no sequence and it's just going on and on and on. Okay. Um, the number, let me just see this one. Okay, I don't know what he means by this one. Now, so I want you to just work it out so that you can see. Uh, now, on these ones, you're also going to have to know how to use a square root. So make sure on your calculator you know how to do the square root of something. Okay, and if you have to put the square root of, I want you to do the next one, I want you to do the square root of 50. So pause me while you work that out on your calculator. Mine, I have to go second that, and then I go 50, enter, 
and you get 7.07106782 irrational okay I want you to try and I wanted to show you a specific one okay what I want you also to notice is that which is important on your calculators if you've got 1.33333 and we'll go to about there and it'll say 4. Now what it does is it rounds up the last number okay so when you're looking at your calculator and you think to yourself oh is this is this a recurring yes it is because if your screen went longer the threes would continue it just so don't be put off by that last digit okay um, I want to show you how to write a recurring number. There's different ways. If you've got 1.3, you know that you put the little, the little thing on to tell me that's recurring. If your number, let's move this out of the way, if your number is 1.2562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562562